it is, people what it is, people y'all know the model. Y'all ain't gotta like or subscribe if y'all fuck with a nigga, y'all fuck with a nigga. I ain't in this shit for the views and none of that shit or for the dough. I'm just here to step on these niggas necks. Yeah, dig. I wanna get into these YouTubers jumping out of the window quick to point the stamp snitch or rat on somebody just for clicks and views. No real street nigga is going to jump out the window calling somebody a rat without any official paperwork. <laughs> There's been a few. Uh, Reggie and them on that uh, bullshit podcast is calling Jim Jones an informant. Sloppy, of course, is calling Jim Jones an informant based off of a article that was put out with a bunch of misspellings and misprints. Why would you even go off of that? None of that makes absolutely no sense. And on topic, we just gonna say this because I ain't even gonna touch on that shit, but for so much, I ain't even gonna make this video too long. I just wanted to touch base about this real quick, right? If people wondering why Jim Jones wasn't included in the indictment. It's because the extent of the conversation is even files and paperwork from when Mel was charged in the case that his lawyer made. That is nothing in that recording or tape that says they was going to implement any harm to Daniel Hernandez, a.k.a. Takashi snitch nine <laughs> because after the violator comments they started talking about an interview that was supposed to take place that Monday on TMZ and what should be said to separate themselves and expose the guy for being a fraud us first the fact that these people because they just running with whatever, whatever the popular opinion is on social media for clicks and views y'all click on it and y'all listen to these people and people listen to people because they from whatever borough or they from whatever state and you think they know what they're talking about because supposedly they did some time but <laughs> For this cat who said that that don't know how you don't know how indictment papers work be nobody's telling on nobody without your name being on their indictment paper even that shit that they got floating around that's supposed to be snoop dog papers of a police report it has no official stamp on it like none you know what i'm saying like, come on, man. We gotta bring some integrity to this shit. Like, I ain't knocking nobody getting no paper. And believe me, I ain't hating. Like, get y'all paper. Do what y'all do. But gotta be some integrity in this shit, bro. Everybody just out here. And niggas saying whatever to do whatever on this YouTube shit. For views and clicks and likes and subscribers. It's all bullshit to me, man. Yo, plus ask yourself. Why they not talking about the people whose names are on the actual paperwork? Like, what's dude name? CEO Chris? The nigga that's listed as a supplier slash informant. Nobody's talking about these people. They concentrating on, you know, the rappers. Because half of these clowns want to be rappers and envious of rappers and want the attention of these guys you know what I mean you see how excited sloppy was to say that Casanova called him and he just realized how famous he was and how much his bread mean and he got a big man get the fuck out of here 
This nigga's is clown, B. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's cool. You know what I mean? Everybody watch certain shit for different reasons. You know what I mean? Some of this shit is entertainment for a lot of people. Some of this shit is funny. Like, you know what I mean? When that first, when I first seen the, the Hassan Campbell nigga on Queens Flip shit, because I fucked with Queens Flip. Been fucking with dudes since day, day one, since the, you know what I mean? We was down with the battle rap culture. He was doing those type videos and all. You know what I mean? I thought, you know, all right, it's an official nigga, street nigga, gonna start dropping some videos, he gonna, you know what I mean? You go buzz and street niggas that have a voice on this YouTube shit. You know what I mean? Get these squares in order so they understand certain shit. But this nigga ain't it. He ain't it, me. He ain't what I thought he was gonna be. Maybe he is for y'all, and that's cool. Not to not. You know, the people that fuck with him, that's all good. You know what I'm saying? But somewhere along the line, somebody got to put some order down. Let's talk about the people that's actually out there writing y'all making up shit. Put them out of here, man. Y'all ain't got to hit the like and subscribe button. You're not going to be one of them YouTubers. Well, hit the like and subscribe. Donate. Fuck out of here. I be good, whatever y'all do or not. I'm doing this shit to put my foot on these YouTube niggas necks. And for any other real street niggas out there, start a YouTube channel. It doesn't matter if don't nobody listen to your shit. Somebody will run across that shit and be down with this shit, man. You gotta weed these niggas out. You gotta even out the space. Because even the real niggas are going, even the real niggas are turning just for clicks, likes, and views because everybody want to be a little bit of a celebrity, get a little bit of paper. Like the fuck? Y'all see what these niggas be doing? For some bread? These niggas prostitutes, B. I'm out of here. Again, you ain't got to like or subscribe, but if y'all fuck with a nigga, y'all fuck with a nigga, you did.